Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing everything sinking fund. I'm going to tell you what my sinking funds are, how much is in each thing, and what these two planners in front of you mean. So if we go over here, this is my regular budget planner. I've recently changed to the 7x9 Colorful Erin Condren Monthly Deluxe. So I'm going to go ahead and open to November right over here where I have my debt tracker at and we're going to set up my sinking fund portion of it if you haven't seen my debt tracker video i'll link it right over here just talking about all my debt but you can see the numbers right there and what i've accomplished now we look over here this is my new Gilio um medium extra large campagna from the muppets collection in the ostrich print which is very beautiful i'm in love with it and this one stores all of my sinking funds this is a ring binder and I have all my cash envelopes that I got from um, Blackberry Hill Shop, who is no longer open. But don't worry, I am going to get some from a very dear friend of mine. So I'm really excited for that when it comes. So um, that'll be it. So here we go. Let's get started and let's find out how much I have in both of these. And let's set up my page right over here. So we're going to go ahead and first focus on this page because I need to set up my sinking funds. So my sinking funds... I need to set them up, get everything set in stone, see what is it that I'm saving for, what I'm not saving for. So I'm going to go ahead and create this divider right over here because I want to make sure like there's a break between my debt tracker and my sinking funds. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my sinking funds title right over here. Hopefully that's centered because I'm like the worst. I'm going to go ahead and put some deco because I love deco. This is like the one thing that I enjoy. Now, I'm a little jittery right now because I had a cup of coffee and I've worked on a bunch of Etsy orders. And let's just say I'm running on basically no food and a whole lot of caffeine. But anyway, let's get this party started. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down my washi and if you're interested in this kit or any kits for the month of november december and january everything is linked down below in my shop so go ahead and check it out so we are here and i'm gonna go ahead and grab my arteza pen people always ask me what kind of pen i use this is an arteza 0.7 that came in their big 20 pack retractable pens and i'll have it linked down below it is affiliate so just know if you purchase anything from those links i do make a very small commission but it doesn't cost anything extra to you all right that was a whole lot of mouth all right so right in here i have all my sinking funds so the ones that are active at the moment is youtube which is not a sinking fund but it is a sinking fund because i need to make sure that i'm pulling my taxes for youtube so youtube is one of them Next one, let me see if I can place them side by side so I can write and tell you guys. Next one, it says Etsy, but it's actually my share sale. So I also make commission off share sale, which is basically when you guys buy stuff from Erin Condren, Life and Apples, and I believe that's all at the moment that I actually link down below. And anytime you make a uh, purchase through that link, I get a commission. And at the end of the month, if I make threshold then i get paid out so i save the taxes in here stickers is what i call my personal um money right now this is share a so see this money goes into share a so there you go this is share a so money you go into etsy and then stickers i had it for personal savings which is not active so i'm not going to write it in here because this is at zero holidays holidays is a big one so holidays is my black friday shopping which is for christmas so this is essentially my christmas sinking funds that i'm working really hard on and i'm throwing a ton of cash in there so this is an active one so i'm writing it down birthdays as well so my birthday cash envelope is my sinking fund is a major because my family has birthdays from october november december january february march and then um april no one may is my boyfriend august september or july june oh my god i don't know how to freaking calendar <laughs> but anywho mine is very like 
very heavy at the bottom in the beginning of the year nothing in the middle more like it so i always have this funded for that time of event at the end of the year and at the beginning treat yourself is usually when i go to disneyland but i'm not planning on going to disneyland anytime soon so that is empty and not active so i will not be writing it down next is cart maintenance so cart maintenance i've had some I've had some work done you guys I've had some work done and <laughs> it was very expensive um this one is gonna be forever being stocked in because of cart maintenance tags registration all that good stuff I, I even do it for my id renewals which is coming up as well so this one is what car maintenance means anything that has to do with driving licenses registration stickers all that jazz uh medical has been really big this month well, last month in October I've been dealing with some medical stuff I'm okay I'm doing fine but this one was actually pretty used up which is kind of scary to think like you go a whole year being fine and dandy and then one month of the entire year you're like oh shit my body is going downhill like baby Jesus help me out pray for me <laughs> and then last but not least I do have shutdown which is also an active forever active sinking fun and this is when I go into mandatory vacation at my job because we need to um, go ahead and clear the facility sanitize for FDA purposes so that's just a mandatory time off that we have and I save for it because I use all my PTO and sick time throughout the year when we are actually you know working because I know that if I ever save my PTO or sick time for these days, it makes no sense to me because I know I'm going to have them off even with I have like that accumulated or not. Again, word vomit. I'm running on coffee <laughs> and no actual nutrients. So anywho, so for YouTube in October, I didn't close out um, my budget with you guys on camera. But I did do it on my own because, you know, my planner is my life and I go ahead and, you know, make it a priority every day to look at it and to make sure everything gets done. So this is what happened in October. So I'm just going to go ahead and write the ending balance as my starting balances in November. And then we're going to go back into my binder and count everything up so you guys can see that that's what's truly in there. So for YouTube, I have a starting balance of... Seven hundred and fifty-six dollars. Oh, that's just for taxes. Can you imagine? Hmm. Lord, baby Jesus. And then for sure, so I have a total amount of forty-eight dollars in there. In holidays, I have three hundred and five dollars so far. Birthdays, I have a total of a hundred and thirty. Carb maintenance, I have a total of forty-three. And then in medical, I have a total of 126. And in shutdown, I have a total of 753. So those are my starting balances for my sinking funds. Now I am planning to add taxes that were from October, which I have not done for YouTube or Sharesell. I am also missing the second half portion of my sinking funds that I needed to pull out for October as well. Like I said, I canceled all of October. So I still have some back tracking to do in one of these. And then birthdays was filled. So that one is okay. And cart maintenance was also filled, I believe. Medical and shutdown um, are kind of missing some monies too. But we're going to worry about that when I get paid again on the 8th. For now, we're just going to count what we have in our actual envelopes and I hope you guys enjoy it so let's get to it okay so back again with my Jillio medium Campania extra large sinking funds binder I'm gonna go over here and then we're gonna go ahead and count YouTube Lord I've been meaning to go put this in a bank and I haven't don't judge me don't don't come for me I already know this is dangerous so one two three four five one two three four five six one two three four five seven twenty forty fifty five and six seven fifty six is in there so you girl is starting on a good foot and i re i still need to add like two hundred and nine dollars to this because i have not 
taken out any money since I've gotten pay through YouTube or from my October 25th. Just because I just wanted to move on and start November. Share sell is supposed to have $48. So let's go in here. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 48 is in here. Now my cash envelopes are on the they're getting they're getting really worn out, so I'm really excited to get some new ones. Like I said, this one's not an active one, but holidays is. So let's count how much I have in holidays. For holidays, I'm supposed to have $305, so let's hope. So 1, 50, 70, 80, 90, 2. So that's 200. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's 3 and 5. So 305 is in that holiday sinking fund and this is one of the ones that is like really coming apart like the lamination is coming <laughs> undone don't don't even come for me I, they they're getting a little janky so then for birthdays i'm supposed to have 130 dollars in here let's do 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 10 20 30 so 30 is 130 is in here and one of the birthdays that is coming up is my little niece she is turning 12 13 is she a teen jackie i don't know let me know <laughs> so i have 130 treat yourself is not active since i'm not actively trying to go to disneyland at the moment trust me i want to so bad because of what was going on for halloween and now that they're setting up for christmas i swear it's 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 tempting it's tempting you guys for car maintenance i supposed to have 43 dollars so let's go over here 10 20 30 40 1 2 3 which i do so yay me um last month i had to buy items for an oil change that came out to 65 dollars and then just yesterday my car was not turning on when i was trying to go to work at 4 a.m your girl was struggling i somehow managed to go to work and come back to my parents house and get my car fixed which cost me a total of 270 dollars of unexpected unbudgeted money because 43 dollars ain't cutting it for nobody so even though i'm grateful for this big repairs like that this envelope was not enough so i left the 43 dollars in there and the 270 is just coming out of like my emergency fund which i might have to restock pretty soon but for now we're not going to worry about them for medicals i should have 126 so let's see 50 60 70 80 90 100 10 20 25 126 so this is good to go this one was almost at 200 and something dollars it was supposed to be like a 251 dollars but for october my anxiety went out the roof my body was doing all types of weird shit so i went to the doctor twice with blood work twice meds twice and then i went to urgent care and then it got more blood work done and more meds so your girl has been using this fund up which i have now drained to 126 it's just it's life happens your health sometimes declines but we're back up on the rise okay we're back up on the rise so that one is full now shut down like i said we do this mandatory because of fda purposes we are a facility that makes medicine and if we're gonna make medicine and practice in manufacturing and producing and packaging this we need to stay up to standards so we shut down two weeks twice yearly to meet the standard so let's start i'm supposed to have 753 so one two three four one two three four five five one two three four five that's six sixty eighty ninety a hundred that's seven ten twenty thirty 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 253. So 753 is in here. So when that time comes, when I'm supposed to be getting paid, I believe on the 
I forget what day in December or in January this is gonna take its place. I'm gonna pull my money from here and not from an actual pay stub because I will have nothing to show for that. So there you go, that has been my sinking funds. That is my starting balances and this is where I store them at the moment. A lot of them will be going off into a bank account pretty soon. I'm just trying to wait until I move so I can just make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. And yeah, that has been my sinking funds. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a long one, a lot of money, a lot of counting and a lot of whole lot of nonsense. So yeah, if you haven't already, please go ahead and like this video, comment down below what you love about sinking funds, if you understand sinking funds or any other areas that you guys save for. And don't forget to subscribe. Your girl is out here hustling her butt off to pay off her debt, but also to save along the way for unexpected nonsense that goes on through my life. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.